you can find it anywhere in your drink, cereal, and even in your home cooked meal. Sugar. So what do you have here? What's uh, have? a Butterfinger bar? And how many grams of sugar is in that? Uh, 25 grams. Monkey Nike Sunday Sweets. It has 24 grams of sugar. Okay. What about you? You got uh, Pepsi. I have a Pepsi, and this is 69 um, grams of sugar. About 100 years ago, people ate around four pounds of sugar a year, mostly from natural foods like fruits. But today, the average person eats about 22 pounds of sugar, mostly from processed foods. So these students at Berwick Area Middle School are slicing the statistics with a sweet challenge. Goodbye, vanilla latte. No sugar, not even a pinch for 21 days. Their teacher, Cheryl Pasakinis, came up with the idea. I just decided, you know what? We need to cut out some of the sugar in our diet. So I just issued a challenge to them and said, we're gonna do this for 21 days because I know the old adage, you can make or break a habit in 21 days. What goes through your mind? Like, how do you convince yourself not to just be like, hey, can I just have one? Like, can I, can I just one <laughs> Swedish fish? If we do it now, then we will be able to show people not to do it later in the future. Eating too much sugar takes a toll on your body. And we're not just talking about a trip to the dentist. It can damage your heart, your liver, trick your body into gaining weight, and can affect type 2 diabetes. Now there is a real reason we crave it. Sugar is addictive. When you eat it, it activates the reward center of the brain the same way that cocaine does. And like they're trying to kick a drug, a drug addiction. That's exactly what this is, yes. In my generation, Teenagers were addicted to cigarettes, and this generation is totally addicted to sugar. So those sugar highs and lows, they're for reals. They can make depression, learning disorders, and memory problems worse. That's why there's a big push to cut down on the sweet stuff. So on day one, we followed these students into one of the most tempting places of the day, the lunchroom where some are ready to cut out as much sugar as possible. What about this? Sugar? Um, no sugar? No sugar. Not one bit. Sorry, kid. There's actually sugar in that barbecue seasoning, as there is in that barbecue sauce. So it's no surprise that students are shocked by what they have to avoid. 15 grams of sugar? I don't know if you're allowed to have this. When you guys are having lunch here and, you know, on your sugar-free challenge, and you're looking around at all the other lunch tables and seeing these sugary drinks, how does it make you feel? Very oh. You can say they're up for a challenge. They have to avoid sugar at school, home, and even over the weekend. And not all their peers are supportive. I've had kids tell me that it's a stupid idea. Really? Yeah. What would you say to that? I said, suit yourself. They get candy, and then they place it right in front of me while eating it and they're like tempting me. And so they have to stay of, strong. It's a world of sugar. It is, it really is. Students are expected to make the best choices even when none are available. This is pretty much their only option in the entire lunch area. No one can deny the sugar-free journey will be tough, but the end goal could have a sweet impact, making them feel better physically and mentally. Ariel Hickson, Channel 1 News.